and so it begins. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I've been gone for a while, but so I got something for you. But uh, let's get started with a little bit. What's what's, what's been going on with me? What's been going on with Joey? What's been going on with Stone Rock? Busy, busy, busy. Been working hard, you know, trying to try to try to chase that bag. You know, working on working on, you know, my little YouTube thing. Working on learning how to use a computer. A lot of things. Also got a side project on the back burner. It's gonna surprise some people. But we'll wait for that. So, without further ado, what uh, I'd like everybody to do, if you could, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, and then hit the share. Ask some somebody if you think content somebody might need to hear it. You never know. Might help somebody. You know, might entertain somebody. Might make somebody laugh. Let's see. So, uh, Today I wanted I wanted to speak on something that that most people most people step over or look over or, or have forgotten about, and that's loyalty. Most people don't have it anymore. It's not it's like like common sense. Common sense ain't common anymore, you know. And I don't understand why it went away because you know. I was raised with the 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 old school. Uh, I'm not sure genre era or whatever it is, but you know, what I mean? you know, you don't tell on your boys. You know, what I mean? you know, you don't, you know, you don't you don't salt your boy out to to to, to get out of female. You know, what I mean? you know, little basic shit. You know what I mean? And the basic shit. Is what people are missing nowadays, and maybe, maybe that's what we need to get back to. We need to do something, you know. And uh, I don't know. I kind of blame my culture, my, my my era, because we didn't listen to nobody. We did what the hell we wanted to do. You know, we had big homies, but. Motherfuckers run wild, and it, it got worse and worse. And where we where we are, but the whole thing I'm I'm looking at is like just people miss the whole concept of loyalty. Is anybody loyal anymore? You know, I don't know. For me, it's different because. I'm not like most people, you know. All my life, I ain't, I ain't never fit in. I ain't fit in growing up in the hood. Damn sure didn't fit in in prison, you know. I don't care about fitting in no more. I made me a place. This is my place. This is my space. This is my area. This is my. I'm the king of my castle, you know. But I'm working for it. I'm out there busting my ass, you know. I'm still, I've always been a hustler. But my hustle now is just all legit. And this shit works. This is the best life I ever had. You know, this is the most I've ever had. This is the best I've ever been doing. This is the longest I've been free. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be part of the community. You know, there's a community is a big part of that 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 crib and it got lost somewhere along the way I don't know maybe it's time to get back to it what you doing for your community Ooh. 
right, well, we'll go back to loyalty right now. We'll go back to that later. So, I've always, I've always tried to be, be, be loyal. You know what I mean? You know, I was, I was raised that way. But it, it, as time went on, you know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, I was supposed to be loyal to me, fell off, fell away, wasn't there, you know. And it was like, you know what I mean? And that's the way it is every day in the world. But it doesn't have to be. Because if one person stands tall, if one person steps up, if one person... See, that's the thing. I'm here. I'm here to help. If, if somebody needs some help, people know who I am. People know where I'm at. If I can help you, get at me. Closed mouth don't get fed. And a closed zipper don't get head. So look, if you want something, you got to speak up. That's what I'm saying. You know, there's a lot of people out here that want to give somebody a hand up, not a hand out. You know what I mean? There's a difference. You know, because I say I'm a hustler, and I've always been a hustler. Because if I want something, I'm going to go get it. And if I don't, I didn't, I didn't want it that bad, huh? Because if you really want something, you're going to go get it. I learned a long time ago, if I want something, I'm going to go get it. Eh, back in the day, I wanted about it the wrong way. But I learned, and learning is a process that everybody's supposed to learn. And every day you're supposed to learn if you're lucky. But uh, you know, I'm 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 like I think I'm like the guy. You seen them old commercials with the crash dummy? You can learn a lot from a dummy. I'm that guy. You can learn a lot. So uh But now I'm doing things different. Now go to work. Come home, take care of my family. That's my priority. First and foremost. Anybody mess with that? I'm sorry. I'll that too. By definition, loyalty is a strong feeling of support and allegiance. Okay. So I have a strong sense of allegiance, support and allegiance for my family and from my family. It's been rough. I've been over a few bumps. Hit a few holes, pot, pot, pot holes in the road. When Another one I want to get on, integrity. Integrity is hard to find nowadays. You know, well, let me see. I got it right here. What's the definition of integrity? So, choosing to live in accordance with with one's principles, which include honesty, fairness, and decency. So now, I'm that practice what you preach guy. I'm the, the uh, do what I say, not what I do. I'm not that guy. Because, you know, there's, there's different ways of, you know what I'm saying, you know, this is the way I'm trying to live my life. I'm not telling nobody to do nothing. Do you. That's the best thing you can do is do you. But for me, I'm telling you what I'm trying to do because I'm constantly dealing with, you know, my mentality is, is not, not based on positivity. And this is from past experiences, the way I was raised, the way I grew up, you know, so I had to learn a whole new way of living once I got out of prison, and 
it's it's I don't know. A lot of people say it's easier in there because you got three hots in the cot. You don't have to worry about you know rent or paying for the doctor if you got a toothache or if you have an ailment. You know you don't have to worry about that. But you have to worry about the prison politics and the bullshit and the mental. You know what I'm saying? The mind fucking that you get from the system. Because the system isn't designed to coddle you in there. It's basically designed to break you. And I think no one gets out without being broke. It's hard. It fucked me up. But you're still here. And can't stop. point I'm trying to get to everybody is you can do whatever you want to do. I'm trying to show how I'm living my life now because that's what it's about right now. Snow Rock. Now, most people heard Snow Rock. But that's not, that's not me anymore. So, I gave you the definition of Integrity. But my definition, my take on it, my understanding of it, because I learned it from somewhere else, my take on that is integrity is doing what's right, even if no one's looking. No one can see. Integrity is about doing what's right even when no one's looking. Most people miss that point because with the social media and the way things are in the world today, most people just care about what you, what, what the next person sees. The plastic people, the people pretending to be something that they're not, the people that, that don't have uh, their face up on their, you know, on their profile. What are you hiding from? You know, do you have something to hide? Because everybody, everybody gets insecure. You know, like me personally, I'm, you know, okay. I know, like, when people, when you look in the mirror, when you look at your face, you see the flaws in yourself, in your face, that no one else notices, like me. One of my biggest things is when I look in the mirror, I say, oh, my nose is crooked. My nose has been broke seven times, but my nose is crooked. People are gonna notice that, or one eye is lower than the other. You know what I mean? You know, but can you see it now? Because I'm gonna try and keep moving, keep you distracted. Don't look at it, don't look at it. But there it is. And that's the thing, most people don't want you to see their flaws. They don't want you to see their scars. Each to his own. I wear mine as a bad edge. Still here. Still going. Can't stop. Won't stop. Would have thunk it. Uh, when I was a kid, I never thought I'd get a reputation. <laughs> now I got it, only to realize it ain't worth nothing. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because the lesson I got going along with it taught me I could win. So now, we're working on some other things. Working on a trip around the country. I want to see the United States. You know, I want to show it to my wife. So I want to, I want to travel around the United States. I want to show my wife the country. And we can see it together for the first time. Because we will 
I said it once before, I confined myself to, to my hood because I was comfortable there. You know, I was in, in my little cocoon. In, in the hood, you know, everybody knew, oh yeah, that's my boy Joe here, that's, that's snoring. You know what I mean? And the world is a much bigger place. So, you know, And that's the thing is like my name, a lot of people know of me, a lot of people have heard of me, a lot of people talk about me. Always try to stay solid, always try. I tried hard to prove myself. So for years and years, I tried to prove myself. Not to me. I knew who I was. It was to the people around me who didn't know who I was. Because when I was a kid, I was just like Boy Joe. I said, that's why Boy Joe is. That's why Boy Joe is. Everybody knew. Because I was there. I grew up in the mean, you know, and then I said, and you know, at the same time, my boy Joey, you know what I'm saying, you know, got picked on, and, you know what I mean, he toughened up, it took him a while, you know what I'm saying, you know, like I, I said it before, you know what I'm saying, when I was a kid, I was a buster until I was, you know what I'm saying, a certain age, and then it was like, okay, that was it, you know what I mean, you know, it's time, that's, that switch, now, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm not going bus no more. I'm going to step up. I'm going to push. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not going to take nobody else's shit. I'm going to get in some of my shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to give everybody the blues. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we're not trying to go back to snow. Right? Not right now. We'll get back on him later. But snow now. So snow rock now. Snow rock now is what I'm working on. That's my big thing. It's Snow Rock now. That's my biggest project. But I got other ones. You know. I'm, I can do more than one thing at a time. I remember the thing. I'm appendectious. I can do more than one thing at a time. <laughs> anyway. So I'm appendectious. For real, for real. Alright. Enough jokes aside. So, I was talking about integrity. The reason I was talking about that was because, you know, more people need to figure out what that is. More people need to utilize, you know what I'm saying, you know. I don't know. I got a, I got a small circle. I don't, I don't mess with a lot of people. But, uh, I want people around me I can trust. So... You ain't got no integrity. I don't want you around me. Whoops. It got out. No. That's real. If you know me, you with the bullshit, miss me. Hey. If you solid, you straight, you know where I'm at. Right now, that's gonna bring this to a close. I'ma holler at y'all. Hey, hey, don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Pass this on to somebody. You know what I mean? Good deal. Thank you, thank you. Holla at me.